everybody. This is a Lamley Showcase, and in some ways, a preview. If you look at what is sitting around here, you've got a whole lot of Spectraflame paint. That is because we are talking RLC, Hot Wheels Redline Club, which 2019 memberships open tomorrow, I believe 9 a.m. Pacific. The link to HotWheelsCollectors.com is down below. Follow that link. If you haven't already, and if you are interested in joining the Redline Club, memberships are open. They are limited. I don't think, like, super limited. I don't know what the exact number is. But I would be ready tomorrow morning if you want to join to join up. Have a credit card ready. All the details are on the website. But in honor of that, I thought that I would pull out some of my favorite RLC models. I've got a whole bunch of them here, as you can see. And then... I would rank the models that I think are the top 10 RLC models that Hot Wheels has ever released. This is my opinion, of course. You guys might disagree, and I'm sure I would love to see your top 10 lists in the comments section or on the blog or whatever else. But you're going to see a lot of cool models. This is in some ways a preview for those of you who are still thinking about joining the RLC. Um, a little bit of evidence of what you might get into. As great as these models are or that we are going to be showing today, I think 2019 is going to, the, going to be the best year by a mile. So many cool cars, some of which have been previewed by the Hot Wheels Dream Team. Uh, that's the design team. We saw some early prototypes uh, that Brendan Vitusky, who's, who's designing most of these models for the Redline Club, that he previewed for us at the convention back in October. Some really, really cool stuff. And we're seeing a little more diversity. Redline Clump for a long time was uh, like classic hot rod models, um, vintage style Hot Wheels cars, like unlicensed, but back from the early days of Hot Wheels. And then, of course, a whole lot of muscle. That is changing. We're seeing a lot more Japanese cars, and we're going to see European, Japanese cars, everything this year. Lots of opening parts. It's going to be very exciting. But let's get to this, just to kind of whet your appetite for the 2019 year. Here they are, just a whole array of really cool RLC models. My honorable mentions before we get to the top 10. some of those some of you might have thought hey why are those not in the top 10 we all have our opinions right so many cool models uh, that I thought uh, were worth seeing but didn't make my top 10 at least and then there's even some older models from years past that uh, I didn't include the super bird is one that I would love to include and there's many others I'm sure that there are some that um, some of you think I should add I was an RLC me member until about I think 2010 2011 um, I wasn't that interested in them, uh, but uh, as things got better, for at least more down my uh, line of interest, then I started. Then I started joining, and I haven't left. And I'm sure ha happy that I was a member because there's a lot of these models that are near impossible to get now that I was able to get back then. Okay, top 
10. I'm going to rank from number 10 to number 1. These are the models. Obviously, I selected them as my top 10, and then I ranked them. Before I get to it, you can start trying to figure out how I would do it. But I'll go with my number 10 model to start. It is the M&M's Cool Combi. This one was uh, released in an acrylic case. Some of these may not be called RLC exclusives, but I'm going to call all of these part of the Redline Club only because they were made available to Redline Club members first, and then if any were left over, then they were sold the next day. Most of these never make it to the next day to just uh, standard visitors at the site. Um, so this may have been an HWC exclusive, but it sold rapidly fast. The M&M's cool combi very very cool model i've got mine out of the acrylic case and i just it's the only rlc cool combi release so far and wildly wildly popular so that is number 10 number nine some of these are just legends they cost a fortune on ebay but others are just for me such cool models and so good looking you're going to see a couple of those here and the 1972 Ford Gran Torino Sport is definitely one of those. This is a favorite casting of mine, way up there among my favorites. One, I think my favorite muscle casting. Some argue that the Torino is not a muscle car. I think it is. This one I thought was gorgeous in the Spectre Flame Blue with the light blue side stripe. And I thought this one looked really, really cool. I actually, I actually kept one carded as well. So that's the Gran Torino Sport. This one's a different casting than the basic because it has the uh, opening hood, which I didn't do. Okay, number eight. Well, we're talking Icon over Icon. Not only the Golf Deco, but on the 67 Camaro, maybe the most famous of all Hot Wheels models. This one is a beauty. And I almost felt like I had to include a 67 Camaro. It is because of what it is in Hot Wheels lore. Easy top 10, my number 8. Number 7. We're going to go very, very recent. And I'm going with the Ford Raptor. This was just released, what, a month ago or so? Maybe a little bit more than that. But a 2018 release. And I think an indicator of where we're going with the Redline Club in 2019. Brand new casting, not based on any, I mean, they have a basic version, but this one is completely built from scratch. Opening hood, just an over-the-top cool model. I love the look of it. I love that they focused on just the Spectre Flame paint and minimal deco, and I just think this thing is so pretty, and I'm looking forward to models looking like this in 2019. I've seen a little teaser pick here and there, and boy, are we in for a treat. So there's your 2019 kind of preview thing with the Raptor, but I think that was easily a top 10. All right, that was number seven, right? Number six. Can you figure out what it is? I'm going with this beauty. The Supernova Gasser. Larry Wood designed. This is the first release of the Supernova. You saw I put one in the... Um, in the honorable mentions, but this beauty in gunmetal mirrored Spectre Flame Gray with just the Supernova Deco. I can't get enough of this one. This is one I had to go back and find because it was released prior to me joining the RLC. And uh, my friend Brian was able to uh, to get me one. I was able to get it from him. This one is super, super cool and obviously one of Two gassers in the top 10. Gassers are kind of an RLC mainstay as well. New casting coming out in 2019, actually. New gasser. All right. That was number six. So what, how many do we have left? One, two, three, four, five. And this is my number five. Along the lines of the Gran Torino, this is the 66 Custom GTO Wagon. Pontiac GTO. This one you can probably get for a fairly decent price on eBay. But I just can't get over how beautiful this model is. Not the most popular casting, but if you look at it, just a Redline Club logo in the back, some details on the rear and on the front, and then Spectre Flame Copper with these bright chrome steelies and a little dog in the back. I can't get over how beautiful this model is. I had I had no idea it existed until I was at a convention and saw one there and I bought it up. I think it cost me 10 bucks. 
because it and it is one of my top ten by far. In fact, it's the number five because I think it's maybe one of the prettiest classic looking RLC models that uh, Hot Wheels has ever done. That is number five. Number four, Texas Drive Em. This is the first release of the Texas Drive Em. I've got, I I think it's been in the uh, RLC two or three, uh, at least three times, maybe even four times. It's been a convention model a ton. Fully premium, this first release. It is a Ford truck. Um, if you remember, it says Ford on the tailgate. This is a classic Ford truck. But detail on the motorcycles, details in the bed, stock look, not the Spectre Flame paint, of course, but the, the way it's done with the white stripe. Oh, just beautiful. These models are the prettiest. The RLC models are the prettiest models that Hot Wheels does by far. And they have to be described as beautiful, as pretty, just because of that Spectre Flame paint. All right, we're down to our top three. And what do you think my number three is? You're looking, you're guessing. It's this one. This was tough. My number one was easy. My number two and number three was super, super difficult. I went with number three, the 83 Silverado. This is the first time that it was in RLC. It was released in Modern Classics first. And this one I actually had to uh, had to acquire as well. Um, traded a bunch of Silverados for this one. And if you look at this, the antifreeze Spectre Flame, the mirrored side stripe. So stock design, not stock colors at all, but those white wall tires, the mirrored... Oh my goodness. I'll just let it kind of sit. Give that one its proper due. That is the number three. I may change that one day and swap it with my number two. You know what the number one is. The number two is this one. One of the first, not the first, but one of the first Japanese cars to be to get, be given the RLC treatment. I think the um, Z Wiz Tribute 240Z was the first. I could be wrong on that, but I think it is. But this BRE number 46, John Morton was such a surprise and considering how popular this is it took a while for this one to sell out i'm not saying days but it took several hours at the time anything that was made in only the i think it was 3000 would sell in about between two to three minutes this one took about six to eight hours and finally sold and then you know the rest is history this model is absolutely beautiful um, it's the second bre 510 the first was done in vintage racing but this one with the Spectre Flame Red and the Neo wheels was just, well, you already know how popular that one has become. And the number one, was it any surprise? I think this has to be the consensus number one in the RLC. It is by far the most expensive model that has ever come out of the RLC. It is one of the most unique models. It is one of the prettiest models, and it's got its own nickname. I say the Candy Striper, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It is the 55 Bel Air Gasser. Candy Striper, pink, hot pink, with the candied roof. This model is as pretty and as cool and as unique as it gets. This one also is cool because of the great card art, but we don't do card art here. I mean, I can show it to you because I have the card, but the model is long gone. Um, this one obviously goes for a pretty penny. I'm very glad I got it when I did. This is also the one of the first RLC previews I ever did. It caused quite a ruckus when I released it. Some of you might remember that, or when I uh, previewed it. Anyway, guys, those are my top 10 RLC models. Do you agree? Would you go with the uh, Gasser as number one, the BRE Dotson as number two, maybe the Silverado as your number one? I want to see your top 10 list if you want. If you don't, then don't worry about it. But I would say, if you can, join the RLC. Follow that link below. Figure out if it's something that you can do. And do it, because you're going to be in for a major treat. All right, guys. Thanks, everybody. Let me know how you do tomorrow. We'll see you. Bye.